Rabies is nothing much to think about when you are vaccinated. But if you are not, tough luck. Rabies can be transmitted by stray dogs, cats, bats and all these other animals. The virus spreads through the saliva of an infected animal to humans. Rabies is the deadliest virus in the world as it kills every human that becomes its host. COVID-19's mortality rate is around 2%. HIV is around 0.47%. But rabies virus has astonishingly near 100% mortality rate as there are only 29 reported cases of rabies survivors worldwide to date. And no human on earth survived rabies before 2004. Rabies causes 56 thousand deaths worldwide per year, about 40% of which are children under the age of 15. It's an underreported crisis because most deaths from rabies occur in Africa and Asia. This map shows how deadly rabies can be in different parts of the planet. This disparity can be attributed to lack of vaccination and huge number of stray dogs. This is what a rabies virus looks like. It has a shape of a bullet. It's called Lisa virus. Lisa virus genome has a negative sense single stranded RNA molecule that encodes 5 viral proteins. Polymerase L matrix protein M Phosphoprotein P, nucleoprotein N, and glycoprotein G. Genomes are linear, around 11 kilobits in length. The virus camps in the nerves and saliva of a symptomatic rabid animal waiting for its next prey. The route of infection is usually, but not always, bite. In many cases, the infected animal is exceptionally aggressive, may attack without provocation and exhibits otherwise uncharacteristic behavior. The virus is so dangerous, it literally modifies the behavior of its host to make sure it gets transmitted to another host. From the point of entry, the virus is neurotropic, which means it travels along the neural pathways into the central nervous system. The virus infects muscle cells close to the site of infection where they are able to replicate without being noticed by the host's immune system. Once enough virus has been replicated, they begin to bind to acetylcholine receptors at the neuromuscular junction. The virus then travels through the nerve cell axon via retrograde transportation and then eventually reaches the brain. It rapidly causes encephalitis, encephalon means brain and itis means inflammation or burn. This step is called prodromal phase which is the beginning of the symptoms. Once the patient becomes symptomatic, treatment is almost never effective and death is pretty much certain. Rabies may also inflame the spinal cord causing transverse myelitis. Rabies has unique strategies to get around antiviral drugs. It avoids the immune system and hides from the antiviral drugs using the blood-brain barrier to protect itself once it has entered the brain. The blood-brain barrier or BBB is a highly selective, semi-permeable border of endothelial cells that control what can and cannot get in the brain. During infection of the brain, the permeability of the barrier can increase, allowing immune cells and antibodies through to help clear the infection. However, during infection with rabies virus, the blood-brain barrier locks down, meaning nothing can get through, even antiviral drugs. Now let's talk about the symptoms. It has five stages that are distinct from one another, incubation, prodome, acute neurologic period, coma, and death. Incubation is the time before any symptoms appear. It takes around 3 to 12 weeks, but surprisingly can last as long as 2 years or as little as 5 days. This depends on how far the bite is from the brain, 
The farther the bite, the longer the incubation takes. By this time, the virus has done its job and death is certain. So it's always recommended to seek for help without waiting for symptoms as soon as someone is exposed to the virus. Its long incubation period and slow replication rate makes it harder for immune system to detect rabies. Prodrome is early symptoms like fever, headache, anxiety, cough, nausea and vomiting and pain at the site of bite. In this period, the virus travels through the motor neuron towards the brain. While traveling, the virus brings out little inflammation in the motor neuron causing prodromal symptoms. Acute neurologic period shows the more distinct and awful characteristics of rabies. Confusion and aggression, partial paralysis and involuntary muscle twitching, convulsion or seizure, hyperventilation or very fast and irregular breathing, hypersalivation or producing a lot of saliva that can result in frothing at the mouth, hydrophobia or fear of water, difficulty in sleeping because of hallucinations, nightmares and insomnia. Some of these symptoms do become episodic, meaning lucid and calm periods alternate with furious periods. Furious episodes last less than 5 minutes. These can be triggered by stimuli or may be spontaneous. Some patients can develop paralytic rabies or dumb rabies. Patients are relatively quiet at this type. The patient can have fever, headache, nuchal rigidity, meaning stiffness of neck. They develop symmetrical paralysis, which means both sides of the body is affected equally. Paralytic rabies can show guillain barre syndrome, a rare disorder in which your body's immune system attacks your nerves. Coma starts within the first 10 days of acute neurological phase. Some common complications during this period are hyperventilation, metabolic acidosis or having too much acid in the body, respiratory depression or low and ineffective breathing, variations in blood pressure and arrhythmias or problem within the rate or rhythm of heartbeat and hypothermia which means body is losing heat faster than it can produce. With intensive support, life is expected for 3 to 4 months but death is the usual outcome. Rabies used to be known as hydrophobia because it appears to cause a fear of water. The patient infected with rabies could swallow saliva easily. This would reduce the risk of spreading the virus to a new host because the virus depends on saliva to spread. So the virus attacks the nervous system causing spasms whenever the patient tries to swallow. Even the thought of swallowing water can cause spasms. This is where the fear of water comes from. Rabies Vaccine Before vaccines, a bite from a rabid animal meant certain death. But on July 6, 1885, Louis Pasteur vaccinated the first human against rabies. On that day, a 9-year-old boy named Joseph Meister was rushed to Pastua after being bitten by a rabid dog. Though Pastua had never successfully tested his vaccines on humans, he gave Joseph 13 injections containing a weakened rabies virus. Because he was vaccinated before symptoms appeared, the disease never developed and Joseph Meister, the first recipient of rabies vaccine, survived. Meister ended up working as a janitor at the Pastua Institute. Sadly, he killed himself in 1940, shortly after Germany invaded France. 